Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake. This is episode 15. So, I replayed through episode 14 last time, and we fought Birkin, met Sherry, and then unfortunately also met Chief Irons. Now we did find a new gun, uh, which I believe is a 9mm, so we're still going to have to make ammo to use this thing. But we're doing alright on healing items for the moment. Um, guess since we already fought Birkin, I don't need the SMG. Or maybe I should keep that instead of the grenade rounds. Hmm. Well, I don't need two healing items, so I can get rid of one of those. Yeah, I don't really know what to keep in my inventory right now. I guess I'll store the SMG for the moment. I mean, without the grenade launcher or the SMG, it means we don't really have anything for liquors, but I'm hoping I don't have to kill those liquors. Alright. So we can't go through the door there to the prison. And I'm guessing that means we probably don't see Ben at all, since Ben is more of a Leon playthrough. At least in the original. So we're going to have to find the parking pass in some other way. Also, didn't Sherry drop her pendant here? I guess it's not going to show up. Uh, we have the elevator control room. Which looks like the only way to go, except we don't have... Okay, we can't activate the elevator because we don't have the diamond key yet, so we have to go to the morgue. Which means going past those liquors in the kennel. Okay, I think there was one there, right? I guess not, because that was the one that disappeared when I walked this way. Just to go, hey, there's liquors around here. Be careful. And this one is feeding on the dogs. So we should be able to just kind of scoot by. Is there anything in the kennel? Okay, so we need the crank and we need the diamond key. Those are kind of the two things we need right now. In the police station as well. Okay. There's the kleptomaniac. I think one of these had a flashbang in it. Actually, was it this one? It was, so let's grab that. <laughs> Just gently put this guy back. Okay, so we should only have one zombie get up. Well, this is an easy way to take care of him. Yeah, even this gun really doesn't seem that much more effective. It's like the zombies are just more resilient in second run. 
Which might actually be true, I know it's harder. Like, look at this, look how many shots this guy's taken. So let's see... I guess we just have to go through the kennel. There must be ammo or something sitting in here that I didn't see. I don't really have time to search thoroughly though. I'm hoping this guy will... shuffle off a little bit. They usually tend to patrol a very small stretch of ground. Actually, I know how I can get him to move here. You can't tell me that the liquors can fit through those dog holes. Be funny if I could roll a grenade through there, though. Okay, he just went back to his exact same spot. Wow. Somehow it flashed this one from that far away. You know, I think that was the first time I ever actually saw one running across the ground, and now I know why they always caught up to me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, where do I actually need this key? Should be some ammo in here. I like that you can even see the pink reflection from the key itself when you put it in the lock. Okay, that's the 3F locker. Um, I don't even need this, but can't discard it. Okay, that's all that's in this room, so we don't have to actually finish them off. Liquors calm down. Now we can go up the elevator control area. So I don't know if we're gonna get chased by liquors at some point. You know, that we have to activate something that'll get them to run after me. I hope not, because again, they're a lot harder to avoid than dogs when they know you're there. Shoulder stock for the grenade launcher. Alright, well this is a room we definitely never saw. 
gunpowder. I mean, I kind of assume that Claire still needs to get the electronic parts from the clock tower, or possibly something else. Okay, so this is the section of the station that we never got to see as Leon. Because it requires the heart key. Though I guess we're not going to run into irons here because he already left the station. Alright, there's his creepy taxidermy obsession. Right on display. Copy of emails, Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account. To use as you see fit, I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. William Birkin. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to and everything will be all right. Police Chief Irons, you are up to you are to up the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them or if they're umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. Alright, so he wasn't taking money directly from Umbrella, he was taking it from Birkin himself. Maybe Irons released the gator into the sewer so that he could hunt it, and then it mutated. Alright, so let's toss our gun again. And the gunpowder. So put the stock on the grenade launcher. Just makes it more accurate. Okay, so our inventory is pretty freed up at the moment. Like maybe I should hang on to the grenade launcher in case I run into trouble. Uh, some SMG rounds. Funny that Claire has nothing to say about all this taxidermy. What is it with this guy and dead animals? Taxidermy log. White-tailed deer, male, approximately six years old, place of capture, our clay mountains. Six foot, one inch, 353 pounds. Pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian tiger, male, approximately four years old. Place of capture, Kabarovsk Krai. Nine feet, six inches, two, 529 pounds. I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm guts spilled out. I still smell of wild beast. This is the life. Pig. Female. 22 years old. Raccoon City. 5 foot 3 inch. 110 pounds. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over. And it's mine. Forever. So I wonder if that's the mayor's daughter? I mean, she's one of the characters that's going to be in the Ghost Survivors, but I kind of get the impression that none of those Ghost Survivors actually survive, hence the name. Alright, that is a tiger. Don't have to put any gems into its eyes. Okay, this is one of the places where you originally saw Sherry. Alright, here's where we need our 
electronic parts. <sighs> Repair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him, and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. Okay, so we don't need the one that's in the basement. Oh, well, that's a relief. It's got our key in it. Okay, so there's our heart key. And yeah, I'm gonna assume that the club key is Leon's exclusive. Since it was the same one that most of the heart areas also needed. Hmm. Thank God. The key card. Wow, is there just a pile of them on the desk? Alright. So, now we gotta dodge Mr. X and get those two parts, which are closer together. They're both on the third floor. And this should also give us access to the outside area. You know, the roof and the chopper. I kind of feel like I should be making submachine gun ammo, because, I don't know, it seems pretty powerful. Especially against living things. Okay. So, this is where X first showed up for Leon, but I would guess he's already here somewhere. Let's head down to the interrogation room. Also, this is that zombie that's very essentially caressing the door in the press room. Should have brought some boards. Hmm. So this window was broken for Leon. Which makes me think something's gonna leap through it. Like, perhaps a liquor? <laughs> I don't think he can actually get back through the window now, though. Okay, some gunpowder. Confiscation report. I did not remember this one, so it's handy to find. And I guess that's all that's in here. <laughs> Just sitting there waiting. It's funny though, because even with the, the no loading screens, these liquors are trapped. You know, the ones that break through the glass, like the one in the art room, because they can't open doors. So as long as you can avoid them once, you're pretty much good. And that means we're pretty much done with this area. So I think we'll just shoot this guy in the leg and then walk past him. Because it really is faster than shooting them in the head, if you just need to get past. Apparently there's something in this... well, I guess it's just the, the shutter here. Is why it's showing that there's still something here. We 
we do have the portable safe, so I can go get that other storage pack. Okay, here's the east storage room. Is Claire also going to break the ladder when we walk down? Okay, let's go in the other room first because that way I don't have to walk all the way back up here if she does fall. Son of a bitch. Okay, that door is locked to the main hall. Wait, was it key locked? No, it's just locked. But there's also another door here. Alright. So there is some flame rounds. And... Combat knife. Another one of these. Okay, let's take our electronic part, which means I don't have room for the knife. I guess that one is also Claire exclusive. Yeah, I don't have any room for the rest of the stuff, including the clock part that I need. So I really should free up some space first. Um. Well, I don't remember the combination. And that was easy enough. Okay, so there's the key. So let's deposit the key and deposit uh, the boards, I guess, and the grenade and the herb. And then we'll use the electronic part. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back up there and grab the part and then go down the outside. I guess there isn't going to be a key out there though, because that's where the club key was. That little shack in the back. Oh no. Large gear. I don't really know if I need another blue herb, but I'll take it anyway. some flame rounds. Alright, I guess I'll take it all. Oh, that's the wrong door. <laughs> Okay, 
Nope. It seems Claire was not heavy enough to destroy the ladder. And then this leads... Hmm. See, this leads to where the other side of the helicopter is, except the only way we got through there was when Mr. X lifted it up. Very politely. Well, there's already zombies out here. Oh, it's boarded up. So I guess they're not gonna give us the key at all. Or a key. See, I have to remember that you really have to run in a straight line to get a zombie not to grab you. Because they just kind of lunge at you for a couple seconds instead of the old school zombies that would just try to grab you and then... Actually, I should have just let him hit me. Since I have the defense buff. Well, that was a waste of a flashbang, which could have come in handy right here. See, I don't think that actually does damage, it just prevents you from running past him. When he just pushes you like that. So where do I actually want to go? I mean, I guess I can't get into the rest of the station from here. So I actually do need to get past him. Keep the knife. <laughs> I was going to say if I needed to run by him, I have the defense buff. But he still knocked me down to orange caution. Really wishing I didn't waste that flashbang. The only thing is, I'm not sure if I could have fit past him in the hallway. You know, when he starts flailing his fists. Alright, we got this safe combination, so let's just grab this. I mean, I could have just wrote it down, but I don't actually care enough to do that. 6, 2, 11. And that is a... Okay, that's a high cap magazine for the second pistol. Alright, so diamond key in the lim linen room, as well as the heart key for the records room. And yeah, that's pretty much all we need to do right now.
Also, I guess acid rounds really don't bother Mr. X very much. He just, like, was mostly indifferent to them. Yeah, we still don't have the tool. Okay, so that's the end of that key. Some gunpowder. Some portable safe. And that's it. All right. All right, so, duh. Nope, it's reverse. That. All right, so duh. No, like that. Shit. Okay, I got it now. Duh, duh, duh. I hate when the mistake you make is still in sequence, so it fucks up your actual sequence. Alright, spare part. So, non-essential, but we can grab all that stuff there. It's not like I'm trying to go for an S rank. Which doesn't really sound fun, since it's just all about rushing and skipping items, but that's pretty much S rank in every Resident Evil. Okay. So let's store that, store that. Grab the... Um, what am I actually looking for? The other key. Okay, he's upstairs. I guess in this hallway it really echoes because of the open staircase. Two oh three and two oh eight. I think there's also a one oh two. Oh, 102 and 103. Okay, second knife. Honestly, it's important to always have more knives. Since being able to escape from damage and just run is good. And it's less wasteful than using a flashbang. I really should just kill this liquor because I need this stairwell. What the 
fuck. Alright. Acid killed him. So yeah, the acid does damage over time, so you just have to give it a couple seconds to work. And I think that means that you can't just spam acid, because it won't do as much damage. Since I would assume it doesn't stack. Okay, here it comes. What else is in this room? Oh, gunpowder. No going back out that door. Man, I wish he was a little more grabby. It would make it easier to not take damage. Okay, now we need to go to the library. And use this tool. Just trying to get as much of the RPD done in one episode as possible. The problem is I didn't bring the clock gear. Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say I didn't bring the clock gear. Okay, so let's try to be quick about this. Since he does love to show up in the library. Especially now that I fired my gun. See, I don't know why you can't knife zombies that are on the ground. You just can't stab them in the head. Alright, so now we're going to be back to being trapped on this tiny third floor with X. <laughs> Shitty zombie. It didn't kill them, but it did melt their limbs, which is what it's apparently good for. Okay, and this is just the repair guy. I guess for whatever reason, X also can't come into this room. I guess you would be pretty fucking trapped if he was in here.
there's our second part. That worked. Much quicker than the original attempt to get it. Now, I have to hope that he's not on my left when I come out of here, because otherwise I'm going to be trapped. Apparently there's another door in here. Was that always there? I feel like it wasn't. Oh no, this is where the large gunpowder is. It's gonna be like, if there's actually a shortcut there, that's pretty fucked up that I didn't see that before. I wonder how many of those I'm missing, because they do seem to have stayed destroyed from my first run. Okay. I don't hear him stomping, which means he's probably just standing here somewhere. I actually have no idea where that door he just stomped through was. I think it's second floor, it sounds like. No point in wasting ammo on that guy. Yeah, he's all the way down there, isn't he? Okay. I think we're good for the moment, then. Now we just head down here, and we're good. We can get our parking pass, and then next time we can get out of the police station. So I think this has been a pretty productive episode. So this puzzle is pretty easy, though the solution is different because the plug is in a different spot. Okay, that has to go like that. Okay, and that has to go like that. So that doesn't do anything like that. Hmm. So it, it looks like we need all three lights to connect to here. But to do that, it has to come through here. Yeah, like that. There we go. You just had to loop it around. Alright, do we got anything in here? Nope, just the parking pass. Is it going to be Chief Irons? Is he watching his office? Hello? Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. Alright, I probably should have saved the before this. You'll find it. Sherry, alright? For now. Well, 
stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that fucking thing, I could let you go. Don't worry, Sherry. It'll be all over soon. So all he actually wanted was Sherry's G sample pendant. All right, so this is the the stealth section with Sherry, I guess. Well, there is a save point here somewhere. Okay, even Sherry has to solve puzzles. Oh, you can rotate them. Okay, so we need a cube over here. Okay, that one's right there. Uh, what is that one? Star and triangle? Okay, now we just need to get these to match. Oh, is there a star and square? No. I don't know why I keep closing out of it. Hmm. Seems like one of these probably also could fit into the sides, and that's why I'm having trouble here. Star and square. So that doesn't have a star and triangle. Neither does that. What about this one? Okay, this one has a star and triangle, so this could also go here. And then we need a square and a circle, which this one also has. There we go. Right? Oh. Okay, I was looking at the wrong side. Because you can't rotate it the other ways. Hmm, I might have only had to switch one of the end blocks and not both of them. So let's try it this way. There we go. Cool, some scissors. I guess they were locked up because they're not safety scissors. So, did Irons just design this puzzle for her to escape? Like, just in case he wanted her to... What is this? ...do something more interesting than just sit there?
I mean, this is obviously the orphanage that was mentioned in that one note. Sally's Diary. Wednesdays are perfectly great because we get snacks and ice cream. I hate the last place I was at. The teachers were all meanies. It was a study, 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 and there was no ice cream. I love it, love it, love it here. There was an important rule made today. Everyone must write a diary, get health checkups, and we ain't allowed outside by ourselves. It's good we don't have to go to school. I don't want to go and get picked on for my old clothes. Especially not by the guy that used to wear them. The orphanage director is coming today. So I'm, uh, wearing my most favorite is checkered blue outfit. The director is tall, has a mustache, and is a policeman. I guess we have to keep going with this and hope that the save point is not too far in. I mean, this looks like a stealth maze right here. Like I'm gonna need to duck through here while someone looks for me. That must be the. So we're out of here. Hmm. There was another door back here. No, there's a Mr. Raccoon. But he's not jingling, so I don't know if he counts. Okay. This table wasn't here a second ago. So I guess I'm not going to the nursery. We saw that creepy doll somewhere in the station. In the art storage room. Tom's diary. It's been two months since I sent that letter to Oliver, and all I've gotten back is nada, zip. Then again, they're all like that once they get adopted. Betty's living like a king in some fancy folks home and forgotten all about us. Really thought Oliver was different, that he'd be my friend for life. Guess I'm just a fool. Anne sat all the little kids down and told them a story today. She said, all the kids that get adopted are turned into food for the boogeymen. That's why no one hears from them ever again. Not sure where she gets her ideas from, but she's got the mind for writing trashy horror novels. Something weird going on around here, and it's not just because of Anne's stories. Don't get me wrong, I've been in worse places, and this place is funded by some big drug company. But why can't we call people or go outside? Why are there so many doctors around? What's with these shots every day? It's almost like we're... I'm getting adopted. Me. Most people go for younger kids, so I figured I was too old, but I can't say I'm not a little happy. Who am I kidding? I'm totally psyched. I say goodbye to this place on the 20th. I'm going to try my best to be a good son. Someone my new mom and pop could be proud of. Oliver came back in the middle of the night all messed up, screaming help me and stuff. I didn't recognize him at first. His face was peeling and all melted off. He's with the teachers and doctors now. It's just a skin thing, they say. He'll get better soon, and then we can go on adventures together again. So they're using the orphan children as lab rats for Umbrella. Either that or Irons is just killing them off for fun. Which seems equally as likely. Oh no, it's him. But if that was the case, I assume that there wouldn't be all the doctors and stuff. So we just need a key to escape. Darn it! I need the key. Dag, nab it. Okay, there is a save point. So, 
I guess next time, we will escape from Chief Irons and try to meet up with Claire. Until then, I've been Shadefire, and I hope you'll join me as we make our way through Claire's own adventure through Raccoon City. Till then, take care everyone. <laughs>